Just Buggin'. Hey guys, G-Man with Just Buggin'. Back on the 74 Super Beetle, the Orange Crush. Finally got the glass in. The glass is in the 74 Super Beetle. Of course, we're gonna have to clean it. I was just to, you know, keep the seal on it, but it's in. Okay, guys, it's in. She's gonna need a wash and definitely all the tape taken off the window, but it's good. Today is to start on the insulation in the carpet. I still have to do the sunroof. My wife's going to get me a piece of vinyl for the slide that goes on. And see the glass is in. I get to clean all this tape off. I'll just give people fair warning. I, if I do any more headliners, I will require you to pay. I'll take the glass out, but I'm not putting it back in anymore. It's just too much. And, and the job is really, uh, you know, difficult. And, uh, I just don't have the hands in my carpal tunnel to deal with the putting in the glass anymore. I still have the pieces to put up here. I'm going to wait because I had that window, the crank right here. I'm going to wait until I finish this and put it in. So get ready. I'm going to start back here and work my way to the front. All righty. Get this thing done and out of here. Okay, guys, I'm out here and get ready to put the carpet in. You see, I took the piece that goes here and up here. I've already tucked it into the groove that you all saw in the headliner. You know, the groove that's in, that groove is there for a purpose. The headliner gets tucked into it and the carpet gets hung in. I don't know why, maybe somebody can tell me, but uh, I've never seen anybody put the carpet up to the window like that. But why it comes with that piece with a bow in it, I guess it gives people the option to do it. I don't think it looks good. And I mean, I put it right on top of the headliner. So I put it up here, mock it up and trim it off and then tuck the trim into that groove and I do it now with the tool whichever tool seems to work better I tuck that down in there real good like it's, or there's at least a half inch or more down into the groove and so is the headliner so uh, and of course so where I glued the headliner over I had to razor it across it so the carpet could go into the groove and then this is stuck in there pretty good so I roll it up and tape it up here so then now I'm going to go ahead and put my insulation down here and I want to make sure it doesn't go further than what I want. See what I'm talking about? Why they give it the bow to put it up there. I'm not going to do that. I don't want that. Well, I don't want this to go further. I don't want to go all the way up there because I want to leave that for the carpet to come up and glue itself. I'm going to spray. I'm going to push this up and I'm going to spray glue way up in there and it'll go down and then that carpet will never come out of that hole. And I want to go across here, but I don't want to come out here. I want to take some of this off and then over here likewise well pull it that way some yeah like that so I'll trim this stuff off right here all right well I'm gonna get the glue down on there get this glued up there where I want it and then I'm gonna put my insulation over here it's advisable for you for you to mock this up over it so you can see and then mock this up to where you're gonna like I'm gonna I want to get rid of this I don't want that stuff on there so I'm gonna make sure that some of my carpet and my carpet there overlaps that. And then I want this to overlap the piece of insulation that's gonna go there so that it doesn't show through. All right, so that's where I'm at. Boy, is it hot in here. All right, guys, this is where I've got it. Now that's gonna stay sta taped up for a while. I've got my tape here to prevent from overspray. I've got this sprayed and this sprayed, waiting my, you know, five, 10 minutes for it to tack up. Then that's still gonna stay up there. Pull my masking tape off here and then I'll put my insulation here and keep putting my carpet over it and making sure this is where I'm gonna put my glue and then I'll mask this area off and spray the glue on there put that piece on there and put that piece on there. And then I will put the carpet piece on top of here and on top of here. And then this will get flipped up and we will put the, the insulation underneath here and here and the carpet underneath on top of the insulation as will be here. So then I'll get to it, I'll explain. I'm starting to confuse my damn self. <laughs> But you get the gist of it. I'm jumping ahead of myself, confusing you. All right, let's uh, shake this up. It's pretty much tacky now. I get this down. Trim the excess off here. You run into a few mistakes. Don't get panicked. There's little oopses you're gonna have. I think that'll do. I'm pulling, pull my tape now. That's good. Perfect. See? No problem done. Put my tape over here. And uh, you know, if you didn't go far enough, you can go grab another piece of this material, tuck it underneath there, pick it up, you know, tape it to it, glue the bottom of it. No one's ever gonna notice it. Doesn't really matter, it'll get covered up. 
All right, so. All right, guys, back on the carpet. The heat ran me out of here. Remember I said that you could fix things if you notice them before you lay down the next piece? Well, uh, I noticed that you could see the, the insulation here. This carpet didn't quite go as far and over here. So I always save some material from other jobs like door panels. And so I have this and you notice it's black there. No one's gonna see it. And then when this comes down, it'll be like that, it'll look good. Yeah, I could have went over a little bit further. I put that, peel that over there when I say, now look, it'll look fine. And then, but this will be here, so it's, it's just gonna be that small little area that's gonna be like that, so it'll be fine. If you think about it, you can do something to make it not noticeable, and no one's ever gonna care. It's all gonna be black. All right, I should hold that up for now. I gotta go back to putting these where I need them. I'll put my tape down safely, put that in the area. This area I'll take care of when I put the door panels down. That's always a pain in the butt. <laughs> All right, I've got that pushed down and glued to about right here. So I put that down and I put my glue down right here and on this piece and then I'll uh, lay that up there. I can do that side and then I can put this piece of the carpet down and this piece of the carpet down and then that piece of the carpet down. So. That's where I'm at. Hopefully the sun's not blinding y'all. This is where I, I wanna make sure that my stuff is tucked in. Right, looks good. Boy, they get a lot of lint on this from all the insulation. All right, now this is where you wanna pick that up and get that glue way up in there. Especially up in that corner that I'm gonna end up sticking it back in. Oops. WD-40 will take that off. All right, I'm just gonna get the top first so I can do any tucking that needs to be done. Get in there. Where'd my little hammer go? There. Gotta do what you gotta do. You don't want that coming out. All right, I'm just gonna let that tack up a little bit. Go ahead. Put the masking over here so I don't get it on my vinyl. But you know, it looks fine. You want to make sure if you do something like that, you want to make sure that you make the eye veer away from it, and then it's never noticed. Because if it catches the eye, you're through. Now <laughs> do this one. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. You want to do all this now. You're gonna have a little buckle here and there. All right. Okay. All right, just like that. Oh, God, what a day. <laughs> this is tape pulled my sock off my foot. All right. <laughs> I want to let that dry right there, and then I'm going to go back up. And I want, because I want this to get as tight down until it tries to come to this. And then if you don't have the cardboard and everything, the original pieces that come back here in the Super Beetles, I get my carpet tucked up in here, and then I take that other piece that comes here, and I tuck it down in here, and then glue it and fold it over like we did up there. And remember to leave your bolts here so you can feel them and cut them out. And that's what I do with them when you don't have the other piece. All right, I better Put this little piece of tape here before I... All right, that's where I'm at. I finished this up here. Like I said, I was gonna do it a little different because we're not, we don't have all the cardboard things when you, you know, that drop down and cover. Anyways, he's putting a big black panel back there, a real nice one with two levels on it. You've probably seen it. And so that, that'll that be its apartment when you open the seat and you can just put stuff in it and it'll have a, a cover over it. So uh, that's what I did there. And I'm about to put this on. I had to cut it because I have different secrets there. So what I gotta do is get this underneath there and then get a rubber mallet and knock it down from the other side. Kind of a pain in the ass to get that in there. How did I do that last night? Well, I'm gonna work it underneath there. It's a, it's a pain in the butt. All right, I just went down the whole thing and spread it with my thumb to get it open and it's, it's working its way in now. Just loosened it up a little bit by spreading it out with my thumb work it right under. Might need a trim. Nope, maybe not. You can just slide it down into place. In there. Now I'm all the way up in there. That looks nice. 
and you can beat it down this way. Just see so I'm thinking about where you flip it over. So you beat it down and then fold it over and glue the other side. So I'm gonna go get my rubber mallet and another can of glue. All right, you see, you just make sure it's all the way in and then knock it back down evenly and it'll lock that right into place. It won't come off. Yeah, it's nice. All right, and see this is, see there's where you see sewing is usually where the carpet will be out on top and where you don't see it is where it should be underneath the next piece. So this one appears to be that it's going to be, oh, maybe a little bit more trimming. Maybe I'll just do it this way. That'll look fine. And that goes onto the old track and then I can glue that back there. And then my next piece, all right, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna get the insulation on the other side, get that piece in on the other side, and then we'll move on from there. I wanna get ahead of myself. All right, I'm over on the passenger side. I wanna point out something. You wanna go ahead and lay you some beaker wires underneath the carpet, like I got them up here, plenty to get to the stereo, and then get plenty to get back there to the speakers. And you wanna do that now, cause uh, you don't want them across the floor. So I'm gonna get this all glued down in here. I'm gonna try to go over the speaker wires like that and then they'll stay over there and the carpet will come down and it'll be under the carpet over there all right i'm gonna get on with it all right guys got that side glued down over there now here oh that's how it contours and then all you do flip it over and be careful to find where you're not gonna want to hit with the glue get it down there all right, that's all you do. Getting along, moving along with this. All right, guys, got a little bit of dirt in here. But uh, this being that these are custom seats going in here, this carpet's gonna be short here. And like I said, I'm not using the board that came with it in the back. So I'm gonna take this piece that goes on that and put it in between here and no one will notice. And then there's no part brake on the uh, rear brake. That's the style disc brakes, you know, the cheaper version without the park brake option. So uh, taking the handle off and covering it up with the carpet here. So we can always put a, a line lock in it, but that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna glue that, this down, that down, and this piece down, except for right in the front. And then I'm gonna piece, piece in here, and then I'll get ready to do these and that and i need to find the tow board that goes there all right that's where i'm at all right guys this is where i've got it so far now i'm going to put these side ones on there and then i'll put this piece in there and i've got the little piece that goes up there and i'll be done doesn't look that bad i know it's strange without this but you can put a little center console or something right here the last two pieces of the carpet uh, as you can see i've got it all in the back and there's the piece that goes up here in between and i'm going to cut out for the stick and then uh place this up in there under there oh yeah i need to look for the tow bar all right okay guys this is where i'm at i went ahead and went for this side first i've got to clip trim that little area back there and i usually i should have sprayed some paint down there kind of dusty down there but i'll put some masking tape down there and spray some black or you'll see behind the pedals you don't want to glue the carpet really well in that area where the bolts are in case you have to replace the master but of course we've already done that but so i'm letting my glue tack over there and then i'm going to flip it over that way and i'm just going to go over the hump and then start going across because there's a the fold at the front and you want to do that one the end of it at the last because you want to go back down there with the piece that goes on the top all right hey guys so i'm all done with the carpet and the orange crush you can see here's a really nice panel for the sunroof i have to get back to that waiting on the cables and the gear all i have left is to put the visors up there and the little clip and the view mirror so it really looks nice you know I put these on first and then I started over here and I went over made my hole where my shifter goes and before I glued it back there I put the kick panel down there and then put that piece across on the top and then glued that and glued it up in the corner I'm really happy with it and this is a little different you know it doesn't have part brake cables has disc in the back the towers have been paid, taken out of here I call them towers or that the uh, seats attached to the original ones and custom brackets were put in for custom seating so I had to you know make some adjustments to the carpet and it worked out really good so I'm real happy with that so this one's not too far from getting done and out of here to get that sunroof back in Hey guys, it's Dalton. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and have a just bug in a day.